Hey guys, Shakun here, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today in my stream, me and my viewers were actually discussing something that's been happening in WoW, and at this moment in time, it's pretty worrisome. I don't even know if that's a word. It, it worries me a bit. So, lately, what I've been noticing on the trade chat in the last day or two, we've, I've actually been seeing people try to buy stuff and only ask for COD. So what happens is, this is just a warning to you guys to maybe not get caught off like this because you don't want to get caught. So let's just take a look at Anchorweed at the moment. And we're taking a look and it's just 500, 600 gold. So pretty much 570 all the way up to 600, 650, you know, 800 gold kind of stuff. There's not much up. So what this person does is, even though it's 600 gold on the auction house, let's just say it's 600. What this person will do is, in trade chat, they'll be buying, want to buy all Anchorweed, 700 gold each, COD only, I'm AFK. Or COD only, or just something like that. Or if you whisper, they can ask you to COD it. So what this does is, if you actually COD it, because you, you think it's a great deal, I could just go, I can go buy out all these, and sell it to this guy and make lots of money. It's not actually that easy. So what's going to happen, it's not always, he might actually buy for 700, very unlikely though, because I whispered him, you know, I was like, yo, it's 600 gold on the auction house. Do you want to just go buy that one instead? It's quite simple. But they don't reply. So what this guy does is he charges you 100 more gold. And what he's going to do is he's going to go to his mailbox. And it's just going to be there. Example, let's just pretend it's this. Right? Let's say this was 10,000 gold. So that's 20 anchor weed. Like just under 20. Probably like, let's say 18, 17 anchor weed. And it's just going to be sitting there. What he's going to do, he's not going to buy it. You've actually got three days of it you can sit in his mailbox. He can choose to buy it and he can choose not to buy it. So what this person can do is actually waste your time. So let's say if the price of it skyrockets and it goes up to 1,000 gold, he can buy yours out for 700 gold each and resell it or craft using it. If the herbs and the, the what do you call it, the flask don't go as he expected it, that guy's just going to leave it there and just see what happens. And he's just going to be wasting three days of your time. It's not worth that much. And did I just phase? Yeah, I think I did. So it's just wasting your time and you're taking all the risk because he's not risking anything. If it goes up, it goes well for him. If it goes low, he, he'll just keep it sitting there because he, he's got it there for a whole three days. So don't get caught in this trap, guys. I thought I'd just make a quick short video just to warn you guys. If in the next couple of days, because it's most important because time is what you like. Time is very important in the next few days. And an extra day could change the price heavily. It could go up, it could go down, it can go any, any different direction um, for the price. And this guy has all the control on what he wants to do. If it's high, he buys. If it's low, he's just going to leave it. He's, he's not even going to return it. He's going to leave it there for three days. Of course, I'm not going to do this to this person. I, I actually buy all of my stuff, but just be careful. If it's a reasonable price, let's say it's 600 gold on auction house, he offers 600 gold, just go trade him. It's a lot more easier. You can get it over and done with straight away don't waste your time and don't get caught in this trap because let's say you send let's just say right you send over 50k worth of herbs 100k worth of herbs that guy's sitting there with your herbs he might not buy for three days and in that three days you could have used that gold to make even more gold or he's just using your gold and in the end what if it returns after three days because he chose to not do anything oh that one just came in he chose not to do anything you've actually lost your possibility of using that um, the anchor weed to turn into make something else. So be very careful with this and make sure you guys trade with people because I would l not like to see one of you guys get caught out on this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. And I hope the RNG gods favor you. Bye-bye.